it's all been done. Everything out there has already been done by somebody at some point. So you hit a creative block. What do you do next? You've got two options. One is to give up entirely. And secondly, you've got the option to find a new creative outlet. Which one do you choose? There are many, many ways to get inspired. And by watching this video, hopefully this can put you back on track and go in the right direction. I do love reading and during my pastimes, you might find me perusing in a bookstore looking for a new source of inspiration. One of these days that I was perusing away, I came across this wonderful book called The Photographer's Playbook. And it's certainly one of the best photography books you will ever have on your own bookshelf. You may already be aware that photography by default is quite a lonely hobby. For most part, it is just by circumstance. You work full time and on occasions you have a chance to get out and it's a challenge getting someone with similar interests to get together and go shooting with. And this book is like having a photography feast with some of the most recognized photographers in the world from Henri Cartier-Bresson all the way through to Alex Soth. There are over 307 different assignments and ideas in this book to get your creative juices flowing again. And that's the most important element. The idea that you can just have play with different ways of doing things with your camera, getting out there and trying different activities. When that will lead you into a new area which you may never have shot or done anything in before. So definitely worth looking into. So what are some of the pros of this particular book? It is dead simple to read. It is so simple and easy to pick up. Some of the assignments are really, really brief and you'll get going straight away with this. The wide spectrum of activities, ideas and assignments in this book appeal to all sorts of photographers. If you're someone who likes order and you like to do things in a logical progression of things, then this is, book is for you. If you're someone who likes to think from an abstract perspective, likes to do things completely differently, then this book is for you. There are so many different ways of doing things and finding new projects and ideas in this book. It is unbelievable. This is really a catalogue of great projects that can spark something new in your photography today. The other great thing about this book is that it is ideas that have been brought together from a wealth of knowledge from photographers, from some of the leading photographers in the world through to photographers you may never have heard of before. And so you're learning from their creative process of how they created their specific images. Some of them we all know about. So this book, again, gives you that framework to be able to figure out what other photographers are doing and how you can do something similar and create your own process through it. The cons of this book. I would say there's only really one, and that is that there are so many assignments. If you're the sort of person that looks at something like this and it's quite a thick book, you know, you might get overwhelmed with the range of activities that are available to you in this book. So that's something to be aware of and there are lots of ways to get around that too. I've had this book now for a number of years. Um, one thing that really works for me is that I come to this book occasionally, I'll pick it off, off my shelf and I'll just open it up dive into a random page and then work your way through finding something that may interest you. That is a really good way to get started with this book. One of my favorite assignments in this book is called A Roll A Day by Jessica Ingram. It was given to her by her teacher, Tom Drysdale, when she found out that she was stuck for ideas of what to shoot. And Tom told her to go out and shoot a roll a day for several weeks and then come back and reflect on what she had shot and through it she would find what was most important to her. 
So the idea is don't spend too much time endlessly flicking through this book, which is very easy to do. But when you get an aha moment, just stop there and do that specific activity. The key to creativity is about doing it and not just pontificating about it. What are you waiting for? Get inspired. This book is absolutely fabulous. There's so many different ideas and assignments in this book by some of the world's greatest photographers that have ever lived. From Henri Cartier-Bresson all the way through to someone like Alex Soth, who's still with us. So, you know, look at those photographers, look at what work they're doing, see their own photographic process and learn from it and see what you can do to create your own photographic creative process. Definitely one for Christmas, for New Year's, for your birthday, whatever occasion that might be, you will not regret getting a copy of this. Want to delve deeper into understanding the photograph? Then check out my video here, written by John Berger. This fantastic book is a gateway entry into understanding how to create great photographs every single time. So check it out and I'll see you on the next video.